Hello YouTube, I'm here today uh, giving you a tutorial on Razer Game Comms. And the reason I made this tutorial is some of the stuff I had to figure out on my own after having it for a couple days. And I don't think it should happen like that. It took me a while to figure out how to pin windows and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you a tutorial just so you don't have to look around for 20 hours trying to look for a written tutorial. I don't know if there are any tutorials on this. I haven't checked. And if there are, I'm sorry, but I had to do it. Um, because I don't have much content recently. But, to go ahead and begin, you first have to find friends. As you can see, I've already done it, but you can go on your Skype after connecting with it, or your Facebook after connecting with it. And you, or you can just search your friend if they already have a Razer Gamecom account. And what they do on Skype is it sends them a message with all the features of Razer Gamecom. I can go ahead and give you a little example after I go ahead and explain. It gives you an example of pretty much what's on Gamecom. And basically, it, it also gives them a link to it and gives them your, um, uh, your Gamecom email address. And this is an example of what it would usually say. Um, it says, hi, the name of the person you sent it to, and this is an invitation of Gamer Gamescoms. Gives them the um, features, and it'll tell you tell them it's an open beta, and it'll also thank them for making the service better. And you can download it from here. And I'm pretty sure this is a direct download. Otherwise, it'll be just a click download. And it'll give you my your email address to your friend, so they can find you a lot easier once they've done, uh, w once they've gotten it installed. Um, now, continuing after you found your friends, and currently I only have three. One of them I don't even really know. Um, you got Daisy and Play Funds is a group that I made. Um, Daisy is for Daisy and all the other mods on it. I haven't really ma I made that 100% and play funds. And normally, the reason I like Gamescoms a lot better than, say, TeamSpeak is that it costs money to run a TeamSpeak server. And I don't have money. I have no money whatsoever to be spending on TeamSpeak. So I like this more because you can easily create a server quotation, basically a group. And it's completely free, and everything about it is great and easily and user accessible. Um, I'll go ahead and give you an example of Tut. Uh, I'll just put the Tut right here. That'll be the name of the group. It'll be a private and password protected, and only admins can invite to the group. That means that only I or any other admin that I give the permission of admin will be able to invite people to the group. <coughs> And the password will be tutorial. Uh, you can also show password. That way you know the exact spelling of what you're doing. I may have spelt that wrong, but I don't really care. And then you can put tut uh, chan for the channel. Now the channel would be the first channel that's in your group. These are all channels. Okay, that's pretty self-explanatory. After you, you know, select your game and you go down... After you um, change your category from general to games, games will be a specific game that they're playing. And you can, it doesn't really have arrows just yet, but you have to click a little bit above where the, the top and bottom ones are to scroll. And all these games are on your hard drive. These are the only ones that you have. So if your friend has a game that you don't, and you want to make a start uh, a thing for him you can't do that I'm unfortunately but I'm gonna go ahead and click star conflict because I've been playing that recently and it's a pretty good game and I'll go ahead and create and now that this has been created anybody who wants to join your your channel will have to type the password also they have to be invited by you now you can edit these settings by going to edit group and editing everything here you can change it whenever you want you have the group ID, which I don't know if you can use to find a group. Let's see. No, you can't find a group. Okay. These are, and when you find a group, you can just search up, like, a game that you want to play. Okay. And usually Arma 2 deals with, um, 
DayZ, of course. And all these are the the IDs and stuff like that. I don't know if you can search using an ID, but I'll see. UZ. UZ. That. And you can do like League of Legends. There aren't that many League of Legends places. And there aren't that many people using Razer Games comms, which saddens me, because this, this thing is really good and has lots of potential. And as long as we keep updating them with problems, like one that I found is that it'll only play through my TV speakers, which would be um, right here. It'll only play through this, but not this, which is my actual computer when I'd plug my headphones into normally. So to fix that, I just plug my headphones in my TV and use this as if it was my speakers. Now that's disappointing because now there's a wire running across my desk into my my um, my monitor, and that's kind of annoying since I have OCD. So I would like for them to be able to fix that or you know get it to work properly, and um, like it doesn't affect your like microphone or anything, but you just can physically not hear this thing. And now continuing after you've made your group and you've invited people and you're talking to them. Well, well, to talk, you have to go, you have to click on the channel, and then you have to click this. Once you have that, as you can see, it, it's picking up my microphone, and it's working right now. And, and basically, for your friends to be able to hear you, they have to click this too, even if they don't have a mic. And they have to, and otherwise they won't be able to hear you, from what I can tell. Um... I could be mistaken. I haven't experienced it. I only have two friends, and usually when they join, they turn on their microphones right away. So I don't know exactly, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And just do it to be safe anyways. And to add your friends once you've made your channel, you just click on it, and then you check off who you want to add, and you just click Add Friend. Now all my friends that are on my friends list currently are in this channel. They have to accept the invite first for them to actually be able to join and also they have to have the password and to make sure that they have the password you can just click on chat with friends and then type pass tutorial and you can copy that go down here click another one of your friends and using the tabs up here you can just show the and then I think I started to chat with someone who's offline and then you can just go do this for all your friends and that way they all have your password which kind of defeats the purpose of a password but for this this thing that's how you would usually do it if you don't have such um, things as Skype this is the first time I've had tut, um, tabs go all the way to the over but as you can tell it'll make a little drop down bar that'll probably go down to infinity to how many tabs you can have open until your computer crashes or something like that Um, and now that you've done that, before I figured this out, when I play games, the way I'd have to do it is after I've enabled overlay, which is really simple, you just go down to a game that says overlay off, right click on it, and overlay on, and it'll turn it on. So whenever you watch this specific game, the overlay will happen, and you press control tab for this stuff to pop up. Now, before that, it kind of didn't make sense because they advertised something that was like, you could see who's talking at all times during the game without interruption. Um, and I was like, how do I do this? And I've been just right-clicking on stuff of like, right-click on feedback, right-click on edit group. Mm, nothing's happening. Um, so one day I accidentally clicked, right-click this, and I was like, pin window, and I, I, I didn't even notice I clicked it. And I was like, whoa, what's this? I'm like, this looks like the thing on the trailer. So I put it up somewhere on the top right. And then I launched a game, and I'd like to launch a game, but I don't know if it'll work properly. Um, the Skype and I mean uh, fraps and everything like that. But um, I'm not gonna launch a game, but it'll pop up and it'll be a lighter, and it won't be this. It'll be more opaque, and it'll look good. It'll drop down to who's typing and who's not typing, but who typed, also who's talking, and everything. It's just a really simple and really nice looking UI or overlay that is really nice. And you can unpin it at any time, and then you can close the group at any time, and you'll stop talking. Um, 
Razer Gamescoms. I recommend it to anybody who watches this video. I'll give a link to the download if you're just now seeing this. Um, you can classify this as a review. It's really nice for a beta, and this thing can get even better as it goes along in its development. And um, I just have to say, Razer, you guys are doing a great job. I really appreciate it, and this thing is really nice to use. All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you like, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.